It's Wednesday, July 20th, 2016, and if you've had that new drone for a while now and feel like you're ready for something a little faster, well, good news. This gifted young entrepreneur and drone pilot has created Teal, a high-performance drone he says can hit 85 miles an hour under ideal conditions, or just 70 under, I guess, regular conditions, whatever those are. That's still pretty fast. He also claims Teal is flyable in winds up to 40 miles an hour. But it's not just a racing drone. It's packing a 13 megapixel 4K camera system with VR headset compatibility, a hot rod NVIDIA TX1 64-bit internal computer with four gigs of RAM, and multiple flight modes like follow me, very quickly apparently, acrobatic tricks, auto return, and more. Due to the high speeds, flight time is just 10 minutes, but it comes with two batteries and there's also a bigger battery option, but it'll take a hit on speed with that one. It looks pretty damn cool too. The Teal is 1300 bucks, about the same as its slower competition, plus $20 for US shipping. The initial production run of 500 units should be ready for the holidays if you pre-order one now. Twitter has just brought the hammer down on Milo Yiannopoulos, a conservative blogger, tweeter, and tech editor for Breitbart, following a string of mean, and some would say racist tweets aimed at Ghostbusters reboot star Leslie Jones. Twitter rescinded Milo's verification and then locked down his account. Jones has been a target for some very bad apples on Twitter, and on Tuesday, CEO Jack Dorsey personally intervened on Jones' behalf by barring Yiannopoulos, who of course responded that his free speech rights were under fire, never mind that Twitter is a business and can ban anyone they want for anything they want. Dorsey and Twitter have not said if Milo will be back, and even Milo says he's not sure he'd return to Twitter even if they let him back in. Hey, been getting any suggestions? from Microsoft that you should upgrade to Windows 10 before the free period ends on July 29th? Well, just in case it slipped your mind, Redmond has dropped that pesky nag screen into the latest build, which your computer just spent an hour updating to while you had four cups of coffee. Microsoft is pushing hard to get users upgraded by the end of the month as a really big upgrade, known as the anniversary update, is due shortly thereafter. So if you're desperately holding on to the past with Win 8 or even Windows 7, now might be the time to capitulate, lest you get a ton of reminders to update next month that will include a price tag of $119. Just go ahead and update and we'll wait right here. That's it for DT Daily. Be sure to check back in again tomorrow.